for what he has done in this place on today. Amen. It's been a wonderful afternoon. I pray that you have enjoyed yourselves and we have uh, been in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And I just want to thank everyone for making this service a success that it was. And I want to say thank you to our Uncle Dr. Rick William Watson over there. And Kathy Watson, I want to say to you, you said I was like a baby, but uh, what that make you? I'm almost happy. <laughs> 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 We want to say thank you to all the women here. This was a Women's Day effort, our first effort for the year. We want to say thank you to everyone. We want to say thank you to our captains. We're going to ask our captain to stand. Our sister Jessica Clark is a captain. Our sister Virginia Ballard is a captain. Our sister Sarah is born right here as a captain. And our Dickie Junior Calderon is a captain. This year, again, we thank God for all our captains, too, for all the ladies that are uh, working so diligently here in our women's department. And we're just excited about what God is going to do for us in our upcoming year. Amen. But I just want to say thank you. There are a few people that I just want to make mention of, and I want to say thank you to Sister Bonnie over there. Sister Bonnie was one of those that is when my mom passed to go to the rehab center and stay with my mother eight, nine hours a day. Whenever my mother did it, Sister Bonnie was there. She needed her hair cold, Sister Bonnie did it. And Sister Bonnie, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Sister Jessica Clark is another one. Whatever she needed, she was always there. And Sister Gail, amen. These are the people that you don't forget. Amen. But we want to say thank you. We appreciate all the love and all the sacrifices that you made. And it's, it, I do believe that when people of God are getting ready to cross over, that God gives them an inkling in their spirit. Because the last couple of weeks before my mother passed, I knew that she knew that her time was coming. And she tried to encourage us. And I could hear her words echo in my spirit. She said, The tree of the Lord will make a way. So today we honor her memory. We continue to let it sing. But I tell the people of God today to be encouraged. Because I'm encouraged today, even though I'm, the tears are falling. I know she's in a better place. Amen. I know there's no more suffering, no more oxygen. But we give God all the glory. Bishop Harrington, thank you. Thank you for being a friend to And we say thank you to everybody here today. Amen. And this time we're going to turn it back. And once again, we thank you. We love you. And whatever we can do for you, please don't hesitate to give us a call. God bless you.